Listen, we are aware, just so you know, that people parent their children differently. We are speaking from our personal mm -hmm. experience. And we're not experts. And we're not experts. And we're just letting you guys know what worked for us. us. I would say the best advice I received from my parents, um, we have four siblings, we are all distinctively different. So don't compare each child. Each child is different and each child has their own needs. And actually discipline them mm -hmm. and treat them accordingly. You know, what works, kind of like what Adam said, what works for Aiden may not work for Araya. And I feel like as parents, it is our responsibility to be attentive enough to, to see those differences. Another advice that I got. Can I play off that too? Yeah. Because off of that, you, you hit a point there that I remember the other thing my parents said when I was a kid. Mom and dad would say, see so-and-so or see so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Their parents are their best friends. That was. That's my wrong. Don't you, cross that you line. You want to be their friend. <laughs> you want to be, you their, wanna friend. be their friend, but not their best friend, because the fact is that crosses a that line. That can happen later. Yes, it can happen later, but there's, there's still a difference there. There still has to be a line. Raya's my best friend. But there's still a line. Like she still knows that you're her mother. <laughs> and I think that it's it, when you, yes. you, you have to understand we're different. We're a different age group. We're a different. We're different. We're the same, but we're different. And I think it's really important that you, that line remains there. Be their friend. You want them to come and tell you anything. Yes. But don't be their best friend because then they become too comfortable and you want to make sure that they still respect that and still respect your opinion when you have something important to tell them. My mom would always say, hey, listen, look, I I am your friend. I you know, could be your friend, but also know that I'm your parent as well. Don't cross mm -hmm. that line. So basically, just to give you an example of what Adam's talking about, I was like, we were laughing, we were kikiing, and I was like, girl, you crazy. <laughs> I was like laughing, and then all of a sudden, my mom had this look on her face. She was like, first of all, don't ever, ever call me crazy. <laughs> Second of all, I'm not your girl. I'm your mother. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. And that's basically what she was saying. Like, just don't don't forget that. We can kiki, we can have fun, but don't lose that level of respect. And I think nowadays, I mean, we're more of the old school way of raising kids. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays that is sometimes what you see some homes are uh, might be missing. Again, don't want to judge, but I'm just saying uh, you want to make sure that there is that parenting and, and they know the and, line. Yes, they, they know the line. Another great um, piece of advice that I got, it actually did not come from my parents. Um, it came from, uh, I forgot who it came from. <laughs> oh my God. But I remembered it. It was, remember, oh my God, what? No, it came from Tia. Oh it came from my, my sister Tia. Gosh. What? Am I talking too much? Oh my gosh. I am? Focus. I miss him. Go ahead. Sorry. Go. I'm letting you talk a lot this time. If you notice, I haven't talked over you. Have I? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Just really quickly. This is really important. Remember, you only truly have, God willing, 18 summers, 18 summers with your children. They usually go off to college, they usually get jobs, uh, you usually want them out of the house, or they usually want out of the house. And it goes by so fast. Mm -hmm. We've already had seven summers with Aiden. We've already had, now it's gonna be five, five summers with Araya. Literally, I know there are moments where it is hard, it is exhausting. I call parenting blissfully, blissfully exhausting. It's a blissfully exhausting job. But remember, we don't have this. We do, we're gonna be parents forever, mm -hmm. but we don't have those really sacred, beautiful moments where they're staying at home for a long period of time. And I feel like that helps me. We actually agree on a lot of the parenting things. That's what I recommend too, is that we don't, we're not gonna be the same parenting style. That's pretty much impossible for anybody to be exactly the same. I think we're on the same page way more than we're not. Um, and we've come to understand there's times when she'll be like, hey, listen, I gotta handle this this way. Or I'll say, hey, listen, I, cause there's times you don't know what's going on earlier in the day or whatever. So I think we respect each other and then we're also willing to call each other out and go, listen, he's, he's been tired or she's been. And I think that being able to work together and understand it's us versus the problem um, or it's That's us, helped us a lot. dealing with the kid together, it's really helped. I'm a little more laid back. I was about to say, I think I'm a little, and people are usually shocked when they yeah, hear this. I'm definitely more laid back. I think I'm more of the 
I don't want to say more of the disciplinarian. No. I am just more, I'll give you an example. I'm just more like strict. You know, there's always one in the household. Adam will give the kids maybe three chances. I give them one. <laughs> well, I'm just like, then... you have one chance. If I say no, mm -hmm. I mean no. But there's one other difference though. She's what? right on all that. I tend to, once I make a decision, your phone is gone for two days. He's like, he doesn't have a phone. But the phone he uses to play his games mm -hmm. once in a while. When I make that decision, it's gone for two days, it sticks. Once in a while, even though she's very strict, she's definitely I more am. disciplined than I am, I'll come upstairs, I'll be like, hey, you said like five hours ago. It wasn't it's because Aiden has those gorgeous blue eyes. And, and Araya. Then Araya, Araya has these big, gorgeous, like brown eyes and these, these big cheeks and she's so cute when she cries. Oh, you want to mix it? Mix, right, mix. I just want to mix Why, because it was pink? <laughs> oh. I know that's weird to say, but she's even beautiful when she, she, works she cries. She's so works I'm just it. like, <laughs> and I will tell you this though, it's really, really important. We never say, um, wait till your mom gets no. home or wait till your dad gets home. Mm -hmm. We never want one person to be seen as um, the bad parent. Yep. We work together. Absolutely. We think that's really, really, really important. important. Even if one of the parents is out of the house more than the other, because that's one of my things. Solidify my, that yeah, in your household. That's one of the things that my parents, uh, going back to some of the advice I was given, that was given up by my mom and dad both separately early on when we first had Aiden. Whatever you do, don't make the other one, don't make Tamara to be the bad guy because mm -hmm. you don't want to deal with it. And I was like, huh? And then a couple times I actually caught myself going, wait till you're, when mommy gets home, <laughs> we're going to deal with you together. Yeah. That works actually. Like you're still a threat. When mommy gets home, when daddy gets home, we're going to deal with you together. Our what children. kind of uh, parenting styles do you guys have? I know for a fact I'm not a helicopter mom. I was, I, I'm, I, when they were younger, I was I always like, like those things, they though. would, I don't they like would those, the labels, huh? I know the labels don't make any sense to me because it's like, all right, what's a helicopter? What's a tiger? Moms usually do that, I think. I know, dad, dads don't really. I mean, well, maybe they do. I don't. I don't you want to know to why? Them. I actually love that you just said that, Adam, because the problem with labels is then it gives an open to judge. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a helicopter mom. Oh, you're a tiger mom. What's it even mean? Oh, it's you're like, a, you know. I think it's. I how think about it's you're a great mom? How'd you deal with the terrible twos? Well, in our house, the terrible twos weren't that bad. It, it was, was the, the three teenagers. Oh my gosh! Araya. Nobody tell you about that. Ooh, twos weren't that bad. We learned that Aiden is more communicative than Araya, so for him it was I very. I thought it was communicative. Is it tomato tomato? Yeah, I don't know. I eh. thought it was communicative. Guess what? Have I been saying it the wrong way? Or is he I'm the dad. The I'm way? making the word up. It's communicative. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm maybe. So the point. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Shh. Let us finish. Let us finish. Okay, daddy, you want to sit and have her in your lap? Yeah, in my lap. Okay. I'm a little more laid back. I was about to say. My Hi, thing. princess. Okay. Hi, Aiden was more. He we we had to realize he was very. He had a very big vocabulary at a young age. So he, but he would try to communicate things and he couldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, and he get so frustrated. He'd get frustrated, and we were get, we get frustrated. And, and so three, the three, those those 11, 12 months of of threes into the first part of the fours were rough. Can we ask you how was how are mommy and daddy as parents? Do you like mommy and daddy as parents? Oh, you don't want to. Okay, you don't want to do this sense. anymore. This is my point about a riot. She runs the house. Oh, We've learned quietly, okay. All right, bye. Like Wait, but you gotta ask the answer the question. Yeah. Do you like bye. mommy and daddy's as as parents? Do you like mommy and daddy's parents? Yeah. Yeah. Now beat it. <laughs> no. Um. So I would say because the question I think was how do you deal with terrible yeah, twos? I would say just have patience. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with your toddler. Like Adam was saying, you're gonna have frustrating moments because. Everyone's learning, um, and I find the frustration comes from them wanting to them wanting to express themselves, yeah. but not being fully able to. Um, and then, no, it gets better. Soon, they will really know how to express themselves, right. and you'll be like, uh, "Oh, help!" I think understanding is a lot of it. I think that depending on your child, it could be twos, it could be threes. Like Araya was tougher at twos, I think, because she was a little more crying and. Threes were easier for us. Mm -hmm. Aiden was easier at twos. Two. I'm like, oh my gosh, twos isn't that bad. Threes were miserable. So I think that <laughs> I think it just depends on your child and when that communication, those breakdowns, and under, also understanding rules starts to begin. Also with Aiden in his defense, when he was three, 
Araya was just born. Yeah. So Tamara was going through postpartum. She had a, we had a second child. Nursing. She was working we at the Rio. I training. was traveling. Ooh, that was a lot. So I think that in Aiden's, oh God, and, that. yeah, Aiden had the new child in the house, a new energy. He'd been he'd been the guy for a long time. So in his defense, the threes may have been harder because of all that was kind of piled on his. Yes. Where when Araya came through the three, we already we've been doing this for a couple of years now. We got into our routine. We, There's one thing that I will say. I'm I'm a little nervous about. Um, is when the kids become teenagers. <laughs> because so I have heard. Oh. You think that it's challenging now raising kids, but in, 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 you know, in these ages, wait till they become teenagers. You hear that a lot. And I remember asking my friends, why? <laughs> well, they say it's because you're battling the mind. Yeah. At one point, meaning... And social media now, And too. social media now, which mm -hmm. was completely different when we were growing up. It wasn't there. But I know... Just speaking from my personal experience, when I was a teenager, I thought I knew everything. Still, and now that I am like does. my, shut up, <laughs> uh, I realized I didn't know nothing. So I feel like, well, I knew something, uh, but I didn't know as much as I thought I did. Um, but I now I understand why the parents are like, it's just so frustrating because you're trying to teach your teenager, mm -hmm. listen, look, no, 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 that ain't it, bud. And they're like, uh, yeah, it is. I can drive, I can do this, and then dealing with the hormones. My brother told Breakups, me. Breakups, bro acne. Yeah, my brother, I remember telling, he had his, Elena was older and, and Alex was younger, so it was the other way around from us. I remember calling him one day and he was frustrated. My brother's not usually frustrated on the phone, he's funny as can be. And so I remember like, what's wrong? He's like, Elena turned 13 and I, have, <laughs> I no longer have any answers. And I think that's some of the things I worry about, but the good news is for us, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there, that Aiden being two years ahead of her in school, and we've already been pushing them as being friends and protecting each other, we're on the same team, he's gonna be my weapon in disguise. Well, Araya is not gonna like that because women are very smart and she's gonna realize that. She's gonna realize that there is a spy in the house but and on her side. they're gonna be going but to they're the- But they're gonna be on the same team. So I think ultimately he's they gonna- They will not be on the same team he, all the time. No, all the time, but he'll protect her. I, I know how he, I watch I know now. he'll protect her, but what's gonna happen is that she's not gonna want his protection. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna want all of her friends over though, you know that. Yeah, so maybe that's the deal that they can make. <laughs> yes. Um, but I will say this, I feel like, I don't know, I have two brothers that were so close. We're very close. There was a moment in time, you know, I'm very lovey lovey, huggy huggy. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment in time where they were like, don't talk to me, don't kiss me. And if you wave at me, wave at me from like a football uh, field distance <laughs> apart. So I feel like I you do have a sense. Yeah, <laughs> I am prepared they do that now. a little bit. <laughs> no, they don't. They love their mommy. Um, your sister. Uh huh. I'm talking about your brothers. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. They do love me though. I, they totally love me. Um, but so I do think I'm a little bit more prepared. I do know how the mind works. You know, there's a lot of slamming the doors. Leave me alone. Um, Ryan already does that. <laughs> you know, and she's and already learned it. I feel like that is the age of where they start learning about their insecurities. Mm -hmm. You know, because they like a girl, like a guy. They don't like them back. And I like to think of myself as a natural encourager. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll be good at it. I don't know. Well, give but us at least your, we're in it together. Give us your advice. Yes, please. We're gonna need we it. We have absolutely no idea. I mean, listen, we have an idea what to expect, but also we don't know what's. A, I mean, there's so many things that happen along the way. So, how have you handled your teenagers? What can we expect? Any suggestions? Feel free to leave them in the comments below because we do read them. We may not comment all on all of them, but we read yes. them. Yes. And I think you know, for us, it's just continue to adapt, continue to put those things we just talked about into use, which is communicate, communicate, communicate. Can I tell them you gave me the greatest advice? What's that? When you really have to start parenting, mm -hmm. teaching them skills, teaching them um, not to punch or kick <laughs> or bite, you know, their their friends or their schoolmates. Mm -hmm. um, that's when the ish starts to get real. That's when you take on the responsibility as a parent to make sure that your child is a positive addition to society, not the other way around. And we take that seriously. And there are times when my my kids, you know, they it just appeared that they weren't listening, and I would question myself. I would sense that I've I've I failed. And Adam, you would say, "Don't take this personal." Yeah. Don't take it personal. I forgot you told me that, but that's a great yeah, advice. Yeah. That. Said, Don't ever take it personal, because it's not. Because I mean, in the end, your kids are going to love you, 
and they're going to respect you more if you obviously love them back, but also... Of course, they're going to cry when they don't yeah. get what they want. Got, that's the other thing, structure. structure My brother told me huge. that. And, you know, we, again, with Aiden at the threes, the crazy threes, I call them, you know, we weren't, we were kind of disjointed structure-wise. We had a lot of things happening, a new child in the house. We, I was, you know, I was You're working two Tamara's... two years nine months apart, by yeah, the way. Yeah, Tamara's show, you know, there's... So, I, you know, structure, structure, structure. Kids need structure. Now, granted, you want them to be free-thinking and all that stuff as well, but ultimately there has to be some sort of structure. Faith too. Faith is huge. Woo! There's lots of praying. Yep. That was, that was prayer and praying It's okay, in one. they got it. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe to The, the Housely, Housely Life. Life.